take a look at Russell Knox's swing. Great player from Scotland. See this position here at address. Most of these tour players look pretty relaxed when they stand up over the ball. His back's nice and arch. You don't see those real sharp angles anymore. He has he has quite low hands here. He's not a tall man, maybe five foot ten, maybe. The second photo here we see he has a nice wide takeaway in that club face right there. If you zoomed in on that club face, one could say that that was turned in, almost pointing uh, a little bit closed or pointed at one o'clock as we see it. And we're gonna take a look at that on the way down to see what, what that shows up on the way down. Position here in this third picture, what I like to look at here is, is the left arm. And the left arm, as you can see, is well in across his chest, almost to the right side of his body. And if I was to measure that, someone might say that that's almost 45 degrees inside of where it started. And what that means is it's those hands are pulling those shoulder turn around. So we know he's gonna have a huge shoulder turn. And of course it shows up in the next picture right here his glove hand right there. I like to see that hand position sitting right above his right shoulder, right above his right hip, right above his ankle. It's sort of very symmetrical looking. Plenty of freedom in Russell Knox's swing. The club head's gone past parallel, but I don't think that hurts him, or I think it's, it's good for him. It's because everything is so loose and he's getting ready to sort of crack a whip. As we come back down here, we'll notice that those hands are very close to the position as we saw on the way up. Shoulders are still maybe 45 degrees closed and the hips are starting to lead, lead the show. And what I mean there is that hips are almost to zero. They were at 45 degrees at the top and now they're, they're already leading. They're ahead of the shoulders, which tells you that the swing is unwinding from the bottom up very good position here. We talked about on the backswing, we saw that Russell's club face was slightly at one o'clock. Now we notice it, that he's put that in the slot and now we see that club, if we look right at the club face, we notice that that club head is very square, almost pointing to 12 o'clock and the back of that wrist is flat. Shoulders are still square. Hips are now probably open 20 degrees. And there we are, we're at impact. And what I'm liking about this picture is it's actually just when the club separates from the ball, shoulders are probably 20 degrees open, hips are more than that. I would say this was a power fade. Right ankle, right foot, still on the ground. But he's twisting, he's standing still and twisting. Very interesting way that Russell Knox creates the rhythm in his swing by standing and twisting. You see here that his head and foot is still on the ground here, but the right knee has started to kick in. Head is still down, shoulders well open, hips good position. And now we start to see the recocking of the club. We'll see that if we wanted to take a circle on that club face, we'd notice that his right arm is completely over his left, but that club face is not out of position. And then the last picture here, you can see that, just get a sense that everything is just free and turned and his back is arched and it's a very fluid, springy type swing. It sort of winds up, sits down and then spring releases the swing. It's got very good club face position. Shaft is in, in a good position and the body moves really well. Very impressive swing by Russell Knox.